Hello, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer. I'm going to begin the week with a prayer about restraint. First, a quote from President John F. Kennedy. From time to time, our natural history has been marred by forgetfulness of the Jeffersonian principle that restraint is at the heart of liberty. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray today about restraint. Help us to resist temptation when we are weak and replace our bad habits with your good deeds. Teach us once again what it means to use restraint and discipline in our lives in a culture that typically promotes excess and the quick expression of ideas. Help us to see how our restraint can be positive action. Help us to choose. Help us to see what restraint can mean in a response, in a conversation, a reaction in an argument, or a comment to others. In just a short period of restraint, different results can often occur. Help us to realize that part of restraint is pausing to seek and consider your will, Lord. As we have been taught, help us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of Proverbs, from the 14th chapter, verse 16 through 18. The wise are cautious and turn away from evil, but the fool throws off restraint and is careless. One who is quick-tempered acts foolishly, and the schemer is hated. The simple are adorned with folly, but the clever are crowned with knowledge. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.